name's Casey Kershaw. I'm a PhD student in the School of Bees at USW. I live in Winterlow in the southern highlands of New South Wales, and a couple of weeks ago we had to leave because of the fires. Now it looks like this. You may have heard, but we had a bit of bad luck and we lost our house, our fencing, and our garden. But that's okay, we can rebuild. What I'm really concerned about are the plants and animals that can't so easily get in a car and go to the coast to escape the fires. Sure, there's some species that are adapted to the fire conditions, eucalypts will re-sprout, beautiful king ferns are already putting out new fronds, and wombats can burrow their way to safety. But what about the ones that don't make it, the ones that aren't adapted to fire? I'm going to be monitoring my woodland like a plot. I'm going to be looking at what's re-sprouting, what's reshooting, what animals are here, and what fungi is around. But it's not enough. We need your help. The scale of these fires is so extensive that my five acre plot isn't enough. We're launching a citizen science project on the iNaturalist platform called Australian Fires Post Bushfire Regeneration and we need your help. If it's safe to do so, go into burnt areas and take photos of what you see. Resprouting eucalypts, new seedlings, maybe birds flying overhead, and post it to the platform. It takes a few minutes, it's free to use, and your observations could be hugely, hugely helpful to scientists and others that are trying to understand how these massive fires are going to impact our plants, animals, and fungi into the future. Thank you.